Ladies and gentlemen. What's up, man? Here to help. Right. <laughs> Appreciate you. I know you've been here, probably been sitting here for a little while. Yeah. Kind of uh, kind of a busy scene, so. We'll try, we'll try to watch what's going on. What's that? So we got too many people just trying to watch what's going on during these. Alright. Today is uh, April 28th, 2012. It's approximately 11 p.m. We're at the Daytona Beach Police Department. I'm Detective Karcher. That's Detective Ray. And can you state your first name for me? Scott. S C O T T. And your middle name? Gregory. G R E G O R Y. And your last name? B O Y E R. And your date of birth? February 3rd, 02. Series, 1993. What makes you 18? 19. Math is not much trouble. <laughs> um, 600 South Clyde? Uh, well, you're yeah, going to school there. So. Yeah. That, if we're going to send you mail, is that where we would send it? Or do you have an alternate uh, address? Nah, cause I'll be home in a week. Okay. So cool. It'll be 3503 uh -huh. Romig, that's R O M I G Avenue. Reading, PA, if it's spelled reading. What's the zip code? 19606. 19606. How about a telephone number for you? 610 741 4928. 4928. And currently you're at 600 South Clyde, alright? Mm -hmm. And a toolbox number? Yeah. What hall do you stay in? Uh, Now, when you go home, are, are you going to be home for good? Are you graduating? Um, or, or will you be back? Uh, if, I'm, if I'm back, I won't be for over a year. So right. Back. All right. And this telephone number you gave us, is that your cell phone number? Yep. Is there another, an alternate number? No. Um, how about your parents? You get okay. it? Sure. Uh, my dad and my mom, Vicky. Well, uh, I just, just, yeah. Shots are fired. I believe it was him. I can't say that for sure. I'm just judging that based on the smoke I saw. Seemed like it went towards the same direction I was walking from. But as soon as that happened, I wasn't planning to be able to watch anymore. Uh, right where I was at then, there was a nice thick wall. So I jumped like over the ledge of our bridge. It's got kind of rebar supporting it. So I jumped over the rebar to hang on the edge, and then the wall was covering me. Uh, 
So from there on out, from when I believe he first shot, I think he shot me before boards. And then after the turn, which I lost, I believe, with four boards. Then from there, I couldn't see anymore. I could only hear. Another guy came running up the bridge. I yelled him to get down. I thought he was going to run away because there's two of those, but he was just going to find the same thing I was on behind. Then I went to him to check on him because he was holding his knee. Apparently, I hurt his knee the day before, so I had some bad luck on his behalf. Mm-hmm. And um, after that, all I heard was gunshots. I think 18 to 24 bullets all together and we stayed there for maybe about you know three four five minutes try to you know because I want to get back up too soon when there's gunshots firing and after that I never saw the guy on the ground saw people coming out you know shuffling them back to the dorms I saw somebody taking a video me and him started yelling at the guy to like get that out of there because you don't need a video of somebody on the ground. Right. I don't know what he's going to use that for. I hope he gets rid of it. But, um, that's about all I know. That's about all the incident. Okay. After that, I went to my girlfriend's dorm because you know, I just wanted to see her right away. All right. And my friends wanted to look out the window. I was like, what are you guys doing looking at that? You don't need to see that. They're like, how do you know you know? I was like, oh, it's just down there. They're like, you need to go, go get a police form. I'm like, it's probably a good idea. I was quite yeah. sick. I was thinking, I kind of want to go see my girlfriend. There's bullets. Give me a second. So, right. that, so that came down to you guys. All right, let's go. Let's go back a little bit. You're you're walking from the student village, mm-hmm. which is what hall is that in? The student village is it's the big it's a the big building it actually has three halls in it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was coming back from Adam. You, and you're mm-hmm. on the the crosswalk that goes yep. over the road. Yep. I can I draw stuff for you guys. Does that help yeah, you? Yeah, that'd be great. I was actually I got have a book stuff in here. I was hoping. But I was like thinking, I was like, if I draw that, it's probably going to look a little bit All right, so. Well, make it. Open? Yeah, you can well, go here. Give me a new page. All right, we've got. What is the intersection of the incident? I don't want to call it. Parking. Fire. Graph. I said it. Camera. Whatever the term is. Is there a median? Sorry, here's, no, here's the bridge. So, east would be this way. Clyde yeah. Morris would be over here. Yeah, that would be that east. Right? east. So, there's the village bridge, and then all this over this way is the student village. Okay. So I was heading. There's a nice big wall I was talking about. Uh-huh. As soon as you get in this way from my safety closure. Mm-hmm. So I was heading this way. When I first heard the noise, I guess the car turned, tried to make this corner turn too sharp, bumped up over that. I guess that's what balanced the car crash. Probably broke the suspension or something. Otherwise, I don't know why you stopped. And where do you want me to go from there? Just well, you're, you so you're walking across here. Yep. I'll, I'll take it from there. Okay. That makes it. That makes it. Most well, you for you guys? Yeah. So you're walking across from from the circle here, or the student village, and yeah. you initially see this car as you're almost to the almost to the other side, or almost to the, I guess, is there stair, a stairway that really leads down? Um, uh, let's see. Actually, yeah, the stairway's right here. Okay. So you're almost to the stairway when you hear yep. the screeching and what sounds like a car a car crash yep. to you. Do you hear sirens prior no, to that? That's what confused me. Actually, I didn't notice them. I mean, I was, well, I was, I was did you did you see police lights? No. No. I, thought I really wasn't paying attention to them. Okay. This I car. Mean, as soon as I turn, right. Like, you hear things. you hear the the screeching tires and you hear what what you perceive to be a car crash. Mm-hmm. And then how many how many police cars do you think you see? I thought there was four crews just behind me. Okay. And you're you're watching. I mean, you you see the police cars pull up. You see them the car. You said. It's kind of exciting, kind of fun to watch. Yeah. What What did you see at that point after the car came to a stop? After the car came to a stop? I think you said you I believed that the guy got out of the, the, the passenger right side. side. I think so. Okay. I believe that or either the car the car stopped and then 
Uh, the other two just go to follow behind and bounce one up over the curb. Kind of where I'm stopping short. Okay. Uh, but I'm kind of like watching. If he didn't get out of the right side. Well, what okay. did you. It, it's what you saw okay. and what you remember you saw. So. Okay. Either way, he ended up going right. So that's okay. what really matters, I mean. So. He gets out of the car. Sure. It's either the driver's side or the, or the passenger side. He gets out of the car. Uh -huh. Do you see anybody else get out of the car? Do you see anybody else in the car? No. Okay. Once he's outside the car, walk me through what you see there. My whole chest. Um, that's about a line, of course, the police officer was stopping too. And so he's, of course, running that way. Right. That parking lot's pretty well gated, so right. he had to go, so he had to kind of make it straight through the gate there. Uh -huh. So he's going that way, police officer behind him. At that point, I guess, I believe he turns around and shoots. When you say he, are you talking about the guy that was in the car that mm -hmm. was in a crash or proceeds to crash? Mm -hmm. He turns, you, you see him turn? No, not at that point because there's so many people stopping. Right. I mean, I couldn't really make him out too well. Okay. But, but I do believe that, that the gunshots came from his direction towards the police officer. Okay. And how many gunshots do you think you heard from him? From him? Four. And at that point, what do you hear next? Um, four shots, I believe, all from the closest officer. I don't think anybody else was out of the vehicle yet. Anything next? Anything next? Uh, that's when I jumped up behind the wall. Right. And after that, I was kind of focused on people around me because I know some people were running screaming, not getting by or anything fixed. Right. So then put the other guy to get down. And along that time is when we heard other bullet fired. The rest of the well, and eight, eight, 18, 24, all together. Okay. Yeah. But you're at this point. You're behind that wall. You you can't see oh, no, the wall. what direction the the bullets are flying. If it's flying towards the towards the guy that got out of the car or the towards the police officer. No, I can't see okay. any of them. They got the guys there, but I don't see bullets. Not watching them. <laughs> All right. Um. How long do you think you're you're hunkered down behind the wall before you before you actually come out? Mm. Three to five minutes. Okay. Do you see them putting putting this the guy that got out of the car? Do you see them taking him into custody? No, I saw somebody just on the ground. I saw somebody on the ground with uh -huh. three police officers around. Him. Okay. Obviously, it was not one of the officers on the ground. That helps you. I can, I can say that for sure. Could you hear anything being said? No, I was too far away. I know I was talking to the other guy who ended up behind the wall with me. When, uh, alright, so you can't hear, hear anything being said. And then at that point, obviously, I'm assuming probably more police officers arrive, mm -hmm. and you continue to go. You continue to your girlfriend's dorm, mm -hmm. and then made your way back to made your way back to the scene and made contact with a police officer, mm -hmm. and explained to them briefly kind of what yeah. what you just told us. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually, yeah, I didn't have to tell anybody anything at that point. They just wanted. To, oh, your witness. Okay. Okay. When. Uh, when you're on that crosswalk, how far do you think that is from where the, where you saw the car stop to where you're at? How, how far distance is that, roughly? Where's the officer's at? Each room. Property, 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 property. Maybe 50 to 70 feet. 50 to 70 feet?
when that car comes to a stop and, and you see the police officers behind that, do you hear any shots being fired prior to Anything out? prior to him exiting that vehicle? No. Let me go through your story again okay. and let me get all the way through it and if, if I stumble or, or say something inaccurate, stop me and say, no, this is where I was at or this is what I meant. Okay. You're walking from Student Village across uh, Richard Petty, mm -hmm. going to the... It's going to go back to my...